Man, what the fuck? Look at this bitch. This standard, man. Come on, man. Hold up, hold up. Let me get this nigga. Ah, get down, nigga. Come on. Shoot this bitch, man. The fuck? Oh, shit. Get in this fucking car right quick. I got you. I got you, bitch. I'm about to hold you down. Watch this. Watch this, my nigga. Watch this. Ah! You free. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Stax Montana, and I haven't been on Game Face in a while, man. How y'all? How y'all doing? Just write in the comments section. Say what's good, Stax. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah. Since I've been gone, I, I started this new series on my channel where basically I just tell y'all stories about my life, and you know, people who seem to enjoy them seem to think they're funny. So hopefully, y'all think they're funny. You know what I'm saying? Think this story funny that I'm about to tell you, which is the title. You no, know, may sound crazy, but I'm telling you, got a real story behind it. But um. Now hopefully you like the story. Go check out my channel. You know what I'm saying? Drop a sub for a homie. You feel me? <laughs> but nah, anyway. Yeah, basically, the name of the title is Crazy Ice Cream Nigga because it's about a crazy ice cream nigga. So, first of all, let me let me give you a little background on what 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 the story takes place. It takes place on a block. Now, when I was little, like I lived on a block notorious for badass kids. Like we was the type of badass kids that. Grown ups didn't even want to walk down the street because like we were starting problems with everybody. Like we would chase other kids off of this block. Like it, it got real. Like nobody even wanted to come around here. Now, now, now you knowing that. Now we can hear the story. Now it was this ice cream man that nobody even bought ice cream from. Every time we used to hear the music, like dun 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 dun, dun however the music went, we would come and go to this certain spot where he had a bunch of rocks and just throw rocks at this man's ice cream truck. As soon as he came down the block, to start throwing trucks rocks at his truck like, it, it got to the point so bad like you, some some kids would even be in the house watching tv sleep taking a nap and hear that music and just get up and run out and ready to throw rocks at this man's truck like it's crazy so it's just one day it's just me and my homie lawrence if you don't know about lawrence just go back to um the video on my channel where i was talking about skipping school and he the one that got locked in the trunk like don't ask me how i skip school go to the mall he ends up getting in the trunk like you just gotta go watch the video but yeah, he ends up getting locked in the trunk. But anyway, it's just me and him, and we hit a truck. So we going down there like, yeah, we about to go throw some rocks at this nigga truck. You feel me? We about to go bomb his truck up with some rocks. So we get down there, we snatch up two handfuls of rocks, and we get ready to toss them at him. So he, so we see it coming. So my homie, he just dropped one handful of rocks and picks up a brick. So I'm like, what, what the? He said, yeah, I must throw a brick at his truck. And at the time, cause I'm mad young, I'm like, oh shit, that's a good ass idea. Let me get me a brick too, shit. <laughs> I was like, shit, let me give me a brick, too. So I dropped my handful of rocks and threw the brick. Got, um, picked up the brick. So here he come. He coming down right to where we at. The, the spot. He already know the spot. So so then, then please don't ask me why he continued. I don't even know why he continued. I like, I still wonder that to the day. Like, why did he even come keep continue coming down this block? But anyway, we get there. And first, we first both throw our handfuls of rocks. So then he throws his brick. Boom. It hit the truck. Now... You could call this having aim or not having. I don't know, cause I I promise you I wasn't aiming for it. But when I threw my brick, it went through the passenger window of the truck. Like boom, <laughs> blast broke the whole the everything. So the truck stopped. <laughs> so I'm like, oh shit. Like like you ever like was getting in trouble and you froze. Like you did some shit, you froze and was completely quiet. Like nobody could see you or some shit. Like, well, we both did that. The, all of a sudden, you just see this nigga run from off the side of the truck. And this where the bat started chasing after us. So I'm so we both hauling ass. Now we we from this neighborhood, so we know all the dip off spots. You could hop on this roof or hop this fence or go over here and do it. So we know all the dip off spots to where the fuck to go. So we hauling ass and shit, running through all these motherfucking backyards, hopping over fences, climbing on roofs, and everywhere we go, this nigga is running right be fucking behind us. Like this nigga is really trying to catch us. So I'm like, yo. I ain't not about to let this nigga catch me. So I'm out in front of my nigga Lawrence already. I'm just hauling ass. This nigga behind me and shit. So he goes into this one backyard with a dog and shit. So we get back there. And that was fucking scary as hell. Because when we get back there, the dog looked like the shit was loose. But it was on a chain. So we running. And then when the dog when the dog looked like it was about to come over, I hopped up on the, um, what the fuck is that called? The basement shit? You know the basement shit. Hopped up on there. And that shit almost broke in. I'm like, fuck that guy. Keep going. I keep going, I ain't about to let this thing get, because he probably really would have fucked us up with that bat if he caught us. I'm like, oh, hell no, I ain't about to get hit with that fucking bat. 
So me and my nigga Lawrence, he just he he right behind me, but I'm still kind of leaving this nigga. But the nigga just abandons his truck. The ice cream man just abandons his truck right there. That says fuck the truck. I had enough of this shit. So he chased behind him. So now we get to this little backyard. We's going through, and my homie got a good ass idea. So we got through. He closed this gate. You know what I'm saying? Like when we went in, he closed the gate behind him. I like, just slammed the clothes. And the ice cream man ran to that shit, hit it. Like you just heard the gate jingle like ching ching. Then you heard it. Ooh. So I stopped and turned around. That nigga was just fucking bust his ass on the floor, running to the gate and shit. So I'm like, you know, it's so hard to fucking laugh and run at the same time. So when we doing that, I'm laughing and shit, running, you know, stumbling all over the fucking place. So we finally elude this nigga. If you don't know what that mean, that mean gets away from. Him. So we finally gets away from this nigga, and. If he finally gets away from this nigga and he runs to my homie house. And he ain't about to go to my house or that shit. I ain't even want my mother to walk through throwing fucking rocks at the ice cream man and shit. So he goes to my homie house and we sitting in like his little balcony, little porch thing. And we looking for this nigga like, yo, what the fuck? What if this nigga find us and shit? We all fucking thinking out plans what the fuck to tell our mothers and all this other shit. So all of a sudden, like, because we all lived on that block, but the place we threw the rocks was farther down the street. So all of a sudden we just see the ice cream man riding back down in his truck like, oh, this nigga probably looking for us because he never come to that block twice. He not that stupid. He don't come to the block twice. He came here that one time. Then he must have came back again because, I don't say we seen him riding past. So we're like, oh, shit, this nigga on the lookout for us. So we had to stay in this nigga house all fucking day. So anyway, like throughout the whole summer, because this happened during over a summer, and throughout that whole summer, I swear to you, I'll lie to you not, Every time the ice cream man seen us, he got out that fucking truck and started to pursue. Like, we started to bring chase. Like, we always had to run from this. We never threw rocks at that nigga shit again. But he was making sure we never threw rocks at that shit again. Because every time, like, all the other kids that was throwing rocks, he didn't chase them nigga. Every time we seen us, he was fucking getting out that truck and chasing the shit out of us. And that shit was so fucking scary. We never got caught, though. Real niggas don't get caught, you feel me? Because we was real niggas and shit back then. Even back then, I was a real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but we never got caught by this nigga, but yeah, basically the moral of this story is if you gonna throw rocks at nigga shit, make sure you have on Jordans so you can so you know you can get away. Cause if you don't got on a fucking Jordan, you got on fucking like shell toe Adidas with the fucking the ankle shit, you gonna get caught, my nigga. I'm telling you, you gonna get caught. Cause that's what that ice cream nigga had on, and that you see that nigga didn't catch us. So you keep your J's on if you gonna throw rocks at nigga shit. You feel me? But um, yeah, that's. That's basically it, you know what I'm saying, though. So maybe you can slide over to my channel, check it out, see what you like, play some K, I got some shit going on over that. I'm saying, check it out, you know, real niggas stay up, and I am out, O U T, out, out and about, coming in your house, rob your house. <laughs> I'm out, man.